My name is Michael Post. I manage the Schenectady shop for Computer Answers. Today, we're back at it with the Dell XPS 14. In this video, we will be installing an mSATA solid state hard drive. And I will be explaining to you what you will need to do this and how to do it. Here's what you're going to need to install the mSATA solid state. Obviously you're going to need the computer, today it's the Dell XPS 14. You will need a Phillips screwdriver, a Torx T5 screwdriver, and obviously the mSATA SSD. So we're going to open it up. There are six Torx screws along the two sides and under this panel are two Phillips screws right under here. So let's get that open. To open her up, there's a panel right here. It's easiest to pull it back from the, the vent because there's a ribbon in the front that you do not want to rip off. So we unhook that and it's open. Now that we have it open, we can see from our last video that we installed the solid state hard drive. This time we're going to be working with this. This is the mSATA solid state hard drive. Now this model originally came with 32 gig. We're upgrading it to 120 gigs to match the, hard, the solid state hard drive that we installed earlier. This model particularly has only one screw. Other models may have two. The card we're upgrading to supports both. Now this is a very quick process. We're going to remove the old one by taking out this one screw. As you can see, it pops itself up because it's spring-loaded. You need to pull it directly out. You don't want to pull it straight up because you will break it. Here's the new one. Of course. And you just reverse the process. Put the new one in, hold it down with your finger, put the new screw in, and that's it. It's all installed. We're ready to go. Now that we're finished with that, we're going to put it back together. Take notice to all these notches on the bottom of the uh, bottom panel because they line up with holes that are in the unit. You want to make sure they're lined up. Also, right here is where that cable plugs in that I was talking about earlier. You want to make sure the line's lined up, push the tab down, and that's it. So you line the holes back up, lay it forward, press it down so it snaps, and then you just do the reverse process of putting the screws back in. This concludes our video tutorial on how to install an mSATA SSD into the Dell XPS 14. For more information and videos, you can visit our website at www.computer-answers.com. If this video has helped you out in any way, give it a thumbs up. This is Mike Post, signing out.